Hi students, welcome to today's class. This is the fourth part of our class that is describing motion. In the previous classes we had seen different terms like scalar quantities, vector quantities, then distance travel, displacement, speed, velocity, uniform speed, non-uniform speed, uniform velocity, etc. Now in this class we will see what is the meaning of acceleration? This is a word all of you know and you are using it daily many times. Accelerate your vehicle. Yes or no? What is the meaning of it? Can any one of you explain? Acceleration. When you are accelerating actually, what happens? Can you tell me? Yes, you are increasing the velocity of your vehicle. So, what is acceleration? Rate of change of velocity of the body in, is known as acceleration. Hearing rate of change of velocity, do not get frightened, I will tell you what is the meaning. So, rate means what? Anything divided by time taken. So, what is acceleration now? Change in velocity upon time taken. If I represent final velocity of the body by V, initial velocity by U. What is the change in velocity? Final velocity minus initial velocity. So, change in velocity is represented by V minus U. Now, coming to the definition, rate of change of velocity. So, change in velocity V minus U divided by time taken. You understood what is A? A is acceleration, V is final velocity, U is initial velocity and T is time taken. Now, is it a vector quantity or a scalar quantity? Tell me. It is a vector quantity. Why? Because change in velocity, velocity is a vector quantity. So, acceleration also is a vector quantity, it is having direction. Now, what is the SI unit of acceleration? This is very important, a point which you are making mistake. Acceleration, the unit is meters per second square. Can you tell me how? See, what is our mathematical equation? A is equal to V minus U upon T. V minus U means what? Change in velocity. What is the unit of velocity? Meter per second. Then, meter per second divided by second. So, what do you will get? Meter per second square. So, understood what is the SI unit of acceleration? Meter per second square. So, do not get confused. SI unit of velocity and speed is meter per second only. But coming to SI unit of acceleration, meter per second square. Remember it, meter per second square. Now, when a body is moving with uniform velocity, its acceleration will be zero. Can you explain how? When the body is moving with uniform velocity. Now, remember what is uniform velocity? That means velocity is same. If velocity remains same, can be there any change in velocity? No. So, what will be the acceleration? Acceleration will be zero. So, is it clear why we say? When the body is moving with uniform velocity, acceleration of the body is zero. Next, uniform acceleration. What is the meaning of uniform acceleration? A body has uniform acceleration if it travels in a straight line and its velocity increases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time. Something little confusing, something little hard for you to understand. Slowly we will go. A body has uniform acceleration when 
if it travels in a straight line. Okay, first point, if it travels in a straight line. And second, its velocity increases by equal amounts, that is, previously we had seen change in velocity, which is the v minus u. So, every equal intervals of time, change in velocity remains same. Velocity is changing, but change in velocity remains constant. Therefore, the body is having what? Uniform acceleration. So, how can we represent this graphically? Simple. We will draw a simple graph with velocity along the y-axis and time along the x-axis. And what is the shape we are getting? Straight line. We have already discussed that for all uniform motion, the graph will be straight line graph. So, for uniform acceleration, velocity time graph will be straight line. Is it clear now? Now, coming to the next term, non-uniform acceleration. Once you understood what is meant by uniform acceleration, it is very easy to understand non-uniform acceleration. Only simple thing, the velocity change is not uniform. It will be different. First 5 seconds, the change in velocity may be 5 meter per second. Next 5 seconds, the change in velocity will be 10 meter per second. Third 5 seconds time, the velocity change will be 12 meter per second. So, what happens? The body is moving with non-uniform acceleration. Is it clear? So, if we draw the speed time graph or velocity time graph for this non-uniform acceleration. What will be the shape? It is not a straight line. It can be a curve. Is it clear? What is meant by acceleration? What is the meaning of uniform acceleration? What is the meaning of non-uniform acceleration? How can we represent the graphically? That is the velocity time graph for uniform motion acceleration. Velocity time graph for non-uniform acceleration. So, all of you please learn all the terms what we have discussed still now. Then the next class we will continue with the next topic. Thank you. Till then bye.